My name is Gabriel de la Mora. I born in Mexico City in 1968. I'm very happy to present the second solo show at Timothy Taylor London. The first one online, I is the one, the first one that I present on a, as a viewing room. And I'm exploring a, a new series uh, using feathers. The title of the exhibition is Neornites. I'm playing with uh, two different colors, black and white, exploring the lines, the vibration, the composition and movement of these two colors. One is absence and the other one is all the colors in one somehow. And in the other ones, I'm using different combination of colors that they exist in real birds. In this case, the parrots with two different yellows and one green and other birds that they are black and white and other birds that they are just red or black. The idea of the here is to, is the second part of the a series that I started in 2004 until now, where I try to avoid any traditional media of drawing. So I decide to, to use human hair, that is a dot and a line at the same time. And that breaks the idea of the bidimension into the three-dimensional drawing. Right now I'm doing like the same, but instead of uh, hair or human hair, I'm start using the genetic information of Turkey in this case, or different birds. I'm using also as a dot and a line and also color. And with that, these three series um, are dealing somehow with the theory of evolution of a species through art through painting, drawing, and sculpture. Here I have, I'm showing to you the 22 colors of the turkey feathers I use for each of the works at the Neonita series. Here, um, there are some, there are, we have in the studio so many carpets and portfolios uh, as an archive and showing the process and keeping the process as a record, a kind of archive uh, in, the, in the studio of all the process that we use here in the studio to prepare each of the pieces, that they are involved so many systems and so many parts of the work. Here just, I, I am showing how I'm using somehow the theory of color, interaction of color by Joseph Alberts. And it's quite interesting that the same feather, it depends if it's lighter or darker, the background, the same feather looks different looks dark, darker or lighter on, in a warm or cold direction. It depends on each of the colors. And then we have the coats of each of the feathers and then we cut them into squares to, to use each of the works. And here they are like just some examples that so they are really beautiful. And all of this is part of the process that you never see with the final work. Each of the files in the studio has a date. This is my writing in pencil. And as you can notice, I write backwards. Is the way I did it when I was four years old, the first time in kindergarten. And I decided in high school when I was 18 to keep it until now. So all my signature and all me, my notebooks and everything is totally backwards. Writing backwards makes sense for a left-handed and dyslexic uh, guy as me. And I knew how to write in the regular way, but I decided to keep it how I really write. Color is so beautiful and so interesting to, for me right now in my proposal as an artist. Some of these colors, I never used them before. So there's time to try and start to use new combinations. This is kind of an homage to Hannah Darboven, an artist that I really identify and I really admire and respect so much as an artist. This piece specifically is based on the construction drawings by Hannah Darboven that she did in New York when she was there from 1966 to 1968. This is a variation of that, but in solid colors. And this is from the piece number five from the series Neornitas that I did using turkey feathers on black and white. It's a lot of time involving in the selection of the feathers, the process of the piece, the countings, the compositions, the colors, 
the feathers put them into the panel to create the piece is a lot of time. 